Welcome to the NetSuite presentation on global financials. NetSuite was built over the last 20 years by working with thousands of customers to develop a set of leading practices which are delivered to you right out of the box. NetSuite truly was built to run a global organization that has multiple legal entities, deals in multiple currencies, spanning several languages. Prior to implementing NetSuite, many global companies face the same set of challenges. The first of which is a lack of visibility into the operations of all subsidiaries around the world. Without a real-time view of the key performance indicators, metrics, and financial reports for each subsidiary, it's difficult to make timely and accurate decisions. Next, most controllers are left with the burden of manually managing things like foreign currencies, intercompany eliminations, and consolidation, leading to an inefficient operations which prolong the period close. The last common challenge I'll note is realized when companies look to scale or grow. Managing complex issues such as international taxation or statutory or localized reporting in multiple languages can be a daunting task that often takes more time and costs more money than is typically budgeted for. However, NetSuite alleviates the pain caused by these common challenges. With NetSuite's unified database, you can leverage real-time, continuously consolidated reporting into all areas of your business, with the ability to drill down to any underlying transaction. With support for unlimited GL segments and a robust native reporting engine, NetSuite provides a 360-degree view into all subsidiaries, business units, warehouses, customers, vendors, products, and more, resulting in unmatched global visibility into your business. NetSuite comes out of the box ready to handle over 190 currencies. NetSuite's been deployed in over 160 countries, and we support over 90 bank payment formats. The system can be viewed in 20 different languages, and we support the tax calculation and reporting for over 100 countries. Additionally, NetSuite has built-in tools that complete key tasks more efficiently, such as revaluing open foreign currency balances and eliminating intercompany transactions during month end. This leads to a shortened period close and allows the accounting organization to refocus their time on more value-add activities. Finally, NetSuite includes the ability to manage international taxes and localized reporting, impact multiple accounting books or ledgers with a single transaction, and achieve compliance more efficiently than any other system out there, enabling you to scale with ease as you need it. I'm going to take on the role of a global controller to walk you through the power of the platform and to illustrate how these concepts make my life a little bit easier. As a controller, it's imperative that I have real-time visibility into all areas of my business. This is the dashboard that was delivered to me on day one and includes all of the metrics that are important for me to analyze as I run my business. My dashboard is continuously consolidated, and right now I'm viewing everything from the context of my parent company, which has a base currency of the US dollar. The subsidiary navigator depicts a view of my company hierarchy. I currently have a parent company based in the US and three children entities, one in the US, one in the UK, and one in Canada. The subsidiary navigator allows me to filter my view to reflect only a subset of my business. So with a single click, my dashboard is updated to reflect only my UK operations, and everything is translated to the GBP in real time. When my company decided to expand to Europe, I was amazed at how quickly NetSuite enabled us to do so. At the most basic level, all my team needed to do was to create a new subsidiary and define a few key things, such as the company name, where it fell in the legal structure, the country to define tax nexus, the base or functional currency, and the fiscal calendar. Once that was done, we continued to use our existing chart of account structure along with all of our other GL segments, which really streamlined our reporting and unified our global operations. After creating the new company, we imported their monthly historical trial balances, and I instantly could run a full consolidated financials that included the newest entity. This is my top level consolidated income statement. I can break this out to analyze it by any segment in my chart of account structure, for example, by subsidiary. Since I'm viewing this in the context of my parent entity, the report is in USD. However, I can view this in the base currency of each subsidiary as well. And I never lose the ability to drill down to the source transactions that make up each balance. So I viewed my income statement by subsidiary consolidated in the USD, then I changed the context to view my UK sub in its base currency of the GBP. Then I drilled all the way down to this vendor bill, which was actually entered in the Euro. NetSuite provides a few different exchange rate tables to automate how we manage foreign currencies and helps ensure we're ASC 830 compliant. NetSuite saved my team a ton of time by including an automated exchange rate feed from multiple providers. We no longer have to manually look up and enter each exchange rate into the system, something it took one member of my team about half an hour to do every day. The automatic feeds update this table, which is used to default exchange rates onto each transaction. I can always override the exchange rate if required, but I rarely need to. Additionally, at the end of each month, NetSuite automatically calculates my consolidated exchange rates, which are used in my consolidated financials. This calculation is made based on all the transactions that are entered throughout the month. This is a step that is completed from my period close checklist. 
There are several steps included in my period close checklist that make our close cycle extremely efficient and allowed us to shorten our close by about three days. This specific checklist doesn't list absolutely everything we have to do to close our books, but it does include the key steps to ensure we lock down and finalize our transaction entry for the month so we can prepare our financials. I can choose to lock our periods by company and by accounting book. So if I want to lock everything except my US tax book because I have a few more adjusting entries to make, I can do so. I found that we gain the most automation in two specific steps, revaluing our open foreign currency balances and eliminating our intercompany transactions. Now I'm ready to run this process, so let's go through it together, but before I do, I'd like to point out a couple of things. First, take note of the transaction that we drilled down to. This was entered in Euro, but our base currency for the UK entity is the GBP. Since we're not going to pay this bill until next month, I need to revalue this transaction based on the spot rate from the last day of the month. The system will use this information to automatically create a revaluation transaction to account for my unrealized gain or loss, which will automatically reverse on the first day of the following month. This is the revaluation entry that was created with the click of a single button, and I have full visibility to drill down and understand exactly how this transaction was calculated. Once I create this entry, I typically like to review my reports just to ensure that everything looks good. My unrealized gain loss report acts as great supporting documentation and always ties to my financials. Here's the vendor bill we just reviewed, which I can drill down to to investigate. I can also easily export this in case I need to send a copy to my auditors. Remember, our real-time no-batch GL means that this transaction is not only included in our unrealized gain loss report, but is also reflected in our income statement as well. And I can drill down to the entry that was just created. Now since my revaluation entry and my related reports are aligned to what I expected, I'm going to go ahead and close this task in my checklist so I can move on to the next step that I'd like to discuss, which is eliminating my intercompany transactions. This step was probably the single biggest cost saver related to my period close. Prior to NetSuite, we had a full-time employee whose only job was to manage our consolidation and reporting. It was a very tedious process, and the only tool that we had to do this was Excel. Our process is much more efficient now. Now, before I run this, let's take a look at a few things that might help explain how this works in NetSuite. This is an intercompany journal entry that my team entered to account for our monthly management fee between our parent company and the U.S. entity. Now, this is a simple example, but rest assured that NetSuite's intercompany management is robust enough to handle whatever your intercompany needs might be. Whether it's an intercompany journal entry, an arm's length buy sell transaction used to transfer inventory, or moving employee costs for time and expense incurred on a project worked across subsidiary. No matter the type or motive for the intercompany transaction, NetSuite treats them all the same when it comes to the elimination. When I execute this process, NetSuite's going to go out and find every single intercompany transaction for the month and automatically create an elimination entry into my elimination subsidiary. Once complete, I'm given a link to the elimination entries, which I typically use to drill in and review. As you can see here, I'm given all the information I need to fully understand how this entry was created, and I have links to drill back to the underlying source transactions that were picked up in the process. Until NetSuite, I've never had a system with this much visibility that links absolutely everything, making my job more efficient. Just as we saw a revaluation entry reflected in our financials in real time, my elimination entry is as well. Before I refresh, you'll notice the intercompany revenue and expense amounts as they were prior to the elimination. And now you can see the elimination entry is also included, resulting in my consolidated financials that took minimal effort to achieve. NetSuite also gave me several other reports that make managing this process simple, such as the intercompany reconciliation, an elimination report, and a CTA audit report for when I need to explain my CTA balance. In addition to efficiently completing key tasks in my period close, NetSuite also supports my business as we scale and are required to achieve international compliance. As soon as we brought our new UK company onto the platform, I was able to immediately take advantage of NetSuite's international taxation functionality. This is the actual tax form required for the UK, and each of these figures is a drillable link. Additionally, I'm able to submit my tax forms electronically directly from within the system. There are two more topics that I'd like to cover quickly that really accelerated our ability to scale, all while maintaining compliance. Multibook and my compliance dashboard. Multibook gave us the ability to set up several accounting books or ledgers. My company set up five separate books to meet our reporting needs. Our primary book represents our U.S. GAAP financials, but we also set up separate ledgers to track IFRS, tax, local currency, and one for statutory reporting. Multibook was designed to automate several key use cases, which many businesses require. For example, the ability to have a single transaction impact an accounting book in the appropriate way based on accounting standards. A great example here is revenue recognition. US GAAP and IFRS have different rules related to how we can recognize revenue. 
and the system takes that into consideration when posting a single transaction to multiple books. Multibook also solves the ability to report on a company in multiple base currencies. For instance, if you have a subsidiary in Mexico which is set up with the base currency of USD, but you also need to run full financials and report as if the base currency was the Mexican peso, you can add a second accounting book to that company and define it with the base currency of the Mexican peso. And a single transaction will update both books accordingly. Last, multi-book can be used to automate statutory reporting. Some countries have mandated chart of account structures that you must use when reporting to the governing body. Multi-book includes an account mapping tool, enabling companies to display their financials using their corporate chart of account structure or using a statutory chart of accounts based on country. The real value behind Multibook is that users only have to enter a transaction once, and the system will automatically spit out the correct GL impact for each book based on the roles that are configured, meaning that there's no additional work required by my team to get me the added benefit of reporting on each book independently. Finally, not only could I scale more quickly with NetSuite, but I could do so with peace of mind. Managing governance, risk, and compliance has never been easier. NetSuite came with a tool set that made it very easy for me to manage my internal controls and reduce risk across the entire company. I even have access to an administration and controls dashboard that gives me key metrics around internal controls and system changes. Now that you understand the key value points that NetSuite provided me, let's talk about what this means for you. First, NetSuite's unified data model will give you unmatched global visibility into all entities across all the countries in which you operate. You will also realize increased automation to complete key tasks more efficiently, such as managing multiple currencies and eliminating intercompany transactions. This leads to more accurate and timely consolidated reporting and reduces your days to close. And last, NetSuite comes with the tools necessary to scale and achieve compliance, whether that means international expansion into new markets or automating the way you manually operate today. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing how NetSuite helps you achieve your company goals while making your life just a little bit easier.